In this video, I'm going to show you how to start with this and transform it into something like this. We're going to be using Playground AI to generate some drawings based on your own drawing. Now, what that means is you don't need a lot of skill set. This is completely free and you can go ahead and start today. Follow along and let me know what you like to do and give me some tips of your own if you like. Um, let's get started. To start off, I'm going to go ahead and create my own blank canvas. You can just type in playgroundai.com slash create. If you're logged in, um, Playground AI is still free to use, so go ahead and just create an account if you haven't already. Um, I'm going to leave everything pretty much the same and even my filter, just none. Um, and then as you go to the bottom, you're going to see this base called image to image. The plus sign will allow you to upload your own image and then create based on that. The brush tool will allow you to draw. So we're going to use the brush tool today. Um, keeping this very simple in our first example, I'm going to go ahead and select red by clicking on the black dot and moving towards the red here. I'm going to click on the space outside and then move my brush tool so I can make my lines really big or I can just make them really small. So. Um, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go with a single sort of size here and then draw around it just like so. Here's another flower example. We're going to press done when you're happy and then here you, you will be able to give it a prompt. You still want to prompt because it's going to give directions to um, the AI tool and sort of help you fill in the gaps of the image generation in the drawing. So we're going to go ahead and give it the most simple um, prompt here and that'll just be a red flower and click on generate. I currently have four images at a time because I feel like that gives me some options rather than just do one by one, but that's totally up to you. Um, this flower is a little bit scary, so I'm going to see if I can either edit my drawing or edit my prompt. So uh, generally, I recommend editing your prompt. Um, if you can be a little bit more specific, the better it will get. Um, if you do like an image or a direction that is heading in, I would recommend going with that too. Um, that is the base of Playground is that you start with an image and you keep improving the one that you like. Um, let's say version 1 is absolutely terrible, but version, let's say version 10, you have the final image that you're super proud of. So um, let's see if we can get there. I'm going to go ahead and add another color to my drawing. I'm going to go ahead and go with this like pink fuchsia, uh, make my line a little bit smaller there, and then I'm going to draw another line of flower. And I think this will really help make it um, two-tone effect instead of them filling in like this yellow here. I'm going to do red flower, blooming, and then natural stem. Click on generate. So I always like starting with a very simple prompt, but if you are fluent in the prompt language, then I suggest you just go for that. Um, if you are not fluent, you can always go to ChatGPT and ask them to generate a prompt for you. Let's say, hey, I want to do a beautiful flower. Give me a prompt, right? Very simple. And these are rather scary, but let's, let's be honest here. I don't I haven't really given it directions like let's say you know what i want it to be an oil painting i want it to be a watercolor painting the more directions i can give it the better it gets um but it will still be based on this image as you can see my drawing is um right here and these flowers are still there so um, i think it's a good base to start with and we're just going to keep improving as we can so now I'm going to go ahead and add a little more detail. Let's make this an oil painting, photorealistic, um, blooming, and click on generate. Now, if you can be more detailed and give it a type of flower, you're pretty much set to go. Um, but I just wanted to see what kind of new flowers I can create for me. This one is rather interesting and I, I kind of like it. This one too, very like half sunflower, have like some sort of petals there. Um, this one's also fluid and this one's not bad at all. So you can see the more words you have, the better it can get. So 
I am going to roll with this one, click on actions, click on use image to image. Um, so as you notice, as soon as I click on this, your image changes to this one right here. You can always play with the bar. So whatever you want changes to it, it's going to use this as a source of inspiration. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click on generate again. You can also just click on create variations. Um, that's something that I like to use when I know I like a version, but necessarily not necessarily the whole thing. Um, these are okay, but not the best. So I'm going to see if I can um, change it a little bit more here. So I'm going to do red and pink flower blooming natural stem oil painting photorealistic blooming okay i have blooming twice but that's totally fine it can still read my request all right so i do think this one is the better of the bunch here so i'm going to go ahead and click on actions and click create variant so you can see what that does and you know to this day playground ai is still one of my favorite tools um i'm not sponsoring anything but i just like using it since it is free uh you know thousand generations up to a day that was the initial thing there and um no commitment you know you can just play around get some get inspired and um really train yourself to really understand the ai art generation right um this one's a mess. I don't like that. I do like this one so far. Um, so let's scroll with this as well. And we're going to use um, image to image there. Flowers. And generate again. Um, so this is where I keep adding, keep learning, and keep improving. Um, I do like the way these petals are, so that would be our next one. Um, Alright, so next I'm going to show you how to edit with mask. I love this tool since the very beginning. It's just one of the initial features that drew me into this AI tool. Um, what I'm going to do is try to remove this text right here. So. Click on add mask on the top right, um, move the spacing here, and then just highlight anything that you don't want. And then just go remove text and hit on generate. This tool allows you to select um, a specific thing on your drawing and then um, request changes only on that so you can see um, now my image is without all those text on the side there and we're going to use it as the image to image and you can see that text is really gone and then you can go back to edit image with image and why don't we highlight the flower this time and see if we can make some interesting changes so you can make the brushes a little bit bigger if you like um i just like it smaller so i get a little bit more um precise touch on it but that's totally up to you so what i'm gonna do is highlight these right here and then i'm gonna request to um make petals larger and change the color to more saturated and right i actually don't know where this is going but we'll see all right so this one's not exactly where i want it to go so um i'm gonna go ahead and play with it a little bit more until i get something that i like um, one tip here is just to test the different languages, right? Different wordings, the way you're presenting it. So let's say, um, if you wanted to make petals larger, you can just put big petals. And then we're going to do, and, um, big petals and brighter color. Um, same meaning, just different wording so hopefully that gives us a better representation so now it kind of looks like a messed up sunflower which is not what we want but that's okay uh, maybe the bright color is confusing it so why don't we just do big petals instead 
and it's a little bit better but it's reminding me of an artichoke so let's do big petals uh, water color detail right there. so I didn't really like where it was going originally so I just changed it to add more line detail and so far I think this is where I want it to be so I'm gonna click on save changes click on the actions button and then use image to image and then you can sort of see that I just wanted more lines um, the color is not what I want it to be but this is where you can go back in add a mask and then really color it into whatever color that you like so same thing here go ahead and just select the flower just the petals and then we're gonna change the petal to something along the lines of um, a bright fuchsia right bright fuchsia all right to a more uh, bright pink maybe click on generate all right and, and there you have it so you can be more specific and more detailed and then just keep going and going um the beauty of this too is you can always go back to a version that you preferred to let's say oh i don't like this version right here i think this one was the best one and you can't you just go ahead and click on use image to image go edit with mask and maybe all you originally wanted was to change the uh change the center here so we just go ahead and make it yellow and click on generate That is way too yellow, so I'm gonna go ahead and change the instruction uh, strength there, make it yellow but more uh, subtle, and then click on generate again. You can see that there are no limitations to this. You can have different fun and just keep going and improving. Um, I highly recommend you checking it out and if you recall we started off with just a really random drawing and you had something like this and now you're able to build it out and get to the final stage or something where you're more happy with um, a lot of times people get discouraged and see their first like generations looking like this and they go well i don't want to spend so many hours doing it but if you are a little bit more patient and kind of learn that you can improve step by step you know it doesn't have to go from uh, version 1 to version 10 in a second and it doesn't take like a hundred hours to get to version 10 if you start from version 1 and make little improvements you're gonna get to um, the end result here so again if you have any questions feel free to let me know down below I'm super excited to be back and sort of share some new uh, tricks and tips that I've learned and I would gladly learn from you as well. So if you have any ideas, have any like suggestions on how we can improve this, let's improve it together because learning together helps us grow faster. Thank you.